Hey, what's up guys? Duck here, and today we're doing our very first video here on PvP Wars. We're gonna be playing on Skyblock Emerald here. I just want to do a quick shout out to PvP Wars for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much, and uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. Also guys, before we get too far into the video, I did want to make it abundantly clear that this series will not be affecting the Hypixel Skyblock series at all, and I just really wanted to make that clear to y'all that this is just an additional series I'm going to be doing here on the channel. Anyways, let's get started. So first of all, I'm actually going to go ahead and finish doing the black wool in this corner because I, I really just don't want it to not be done. That just looks really bad. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. I, I did most of this off camera, like building this design. I, I really like how it turned out. I think it's pretty nice, honestly. Uh, I don't know why my island members decided we needed a glass cage in the middle. But, you yeah, know. Alright guys, so we finished the black wool here. I think, honestly, it's looking pretty nice in here. I Honestly, let's, let's get rid of this. What, what is this even doing here? Honestly, like, why? Why is it even here? So yeah, we're going to be uploading here on PP Wars about once or twice a week. So it's not going to be, like, a main series here on my channel. But it's going to be, like, a little side series we do every now and then. And, you know, maybe we'll live stream it here once or twice a month. You know, something like that. Uh, just, you know, if we want to have some fun on here one day, I don't know. But, yeah. Anyways, I do have a July firework item, so it's basically like a July monthly crate. I got this from my, like, kit Goliath monthly or whatever. You get it, like, every 30 days, so I guess I'll get one in August at some point. So that's gonna be pretty cool, but I think we're gonna go and open this. It looks like, honestly, the rewards are pretty insane for this. You get, <laughs> like, the best reward is literally something called star rank. I don't think anyone actually has that rank, to my knowledge. Maybe a couple people, but... That's insane. Also, there's an eye chest token, uh, galaxy crate, eye chest tokens, eye chests are insane. I have access to like one, I think. And what these eye chests do are basically every item in like a 20 by 20 area goes directly into that chest and it can stack like infinitely, which is insane for things like cactus farms and like basically any mob farm that we're going to be making. So I think I'm going to go ahead and set that up like for when we make our golem farm or something. But for now, yeah, we're not going to set that up yet. But I, will, I think I'm ready to open this this firework. I, I don't know how it's going to work. All right. Okay. And then we click on... Okay. So then we click on multiple things. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do we get? Oh, no. My inventory is full. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, We got white scrolls. Is that $10 million? We got $10 million? We got, wait, we got five iron golem spawners. Wait, where'd the gas spawners go? Oh gosh, where are our gas spawners? And we got an iron golem pet? Yo. Wait. Wait, wait, hold up. Wait. No. 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 We lost the iron golem pet. Wait, what? A we lost. We lost a lot. Yo. Oh man. We also. We lost the like five gas spawners as well. That's a big yikes. Oh man. Don't open those if your inventory's full, guys. Pro tip. Oh, well, I'm just going to cry myself to sleep tonight after that one. Uh, well, we do have some energy and fire crates and air crates that we can open here. You know, maybe, maybe we'll, maybe we'll, uh, get, maybe we'll get some gas spawners out of these. Oh, these would be emerald gas spawners. Ooh, it's kind of cool. All right. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I want, let's see. Wait, wait oh. So we can remove one item. Okay, because of our god crate pet that I got from a crate before I started recording. Uh, so yeah, we can actually, so because we got that pet, we can actually remove an item from this that we don't want to win. So basically you want to go ahead and remove a common item. Uh, should we remove the money? Or no, god apples. We don't want god apples out of this. And then we can increase something else. Let's go for crate G kit access. Okay, we're going for crate G kit. But let's get crate G kit. Zach won crate G kit today, which is insane. But oh, come on. I mean, honestly, the scroll the scroll thing isn't too bad. Honestly, like you get one of every scroll, which honestly is pretty good. Honestly, I'm not complaining too bad about that one. All right, let's see one more of these energy crate keys. Oh, what? Actually, let's go ahead and save the energy crate key maybe for next video. We'll do two more fire crates, though. Remove the god apple. Let's increase... Ooh, a monthly crate, honestly. Oh, but that's that's pretty rare. Like, I think we should increase something that isn't quite so rare to get. Ooh, we're, we could get 
shit. Uh, actually, zombie pigmen wouldn't be bad. I think I want to go for golem spawners, though, honestly. I think I want to go for golem spawners out of this one. Uh, yeah, let's... Let, let's go for... Let's go for five I go, iron golem spawners. Come on, come on. Give us the IGs. Come on, or anything else good. Darn. Well, I mean, a million dollars isn't too bad, but we have like 85 million, so, you know, I don't know. Let's move the god apple, increase the golem, come on, come on, come on. Okay, 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 I I'll take 10 zombie pigmen. I will definitely take 10 zombie pigmen, okay. I I'm definitely not disappointed in that one. But yeah, guys, so you can actually slash vote for air keys every day. If you vote at these three links, you'll get like three air keys and you'll also get a summer crate, which you get completely for free if you vote three times. And the summer crate like is really good. Uh, like you can get emerald golem spawner, you can emerald gas spawners, you can get gold block pigment spawners, you can get like bycraft gift cards out of this. You can get like ranks, like the high, like the two highest ranks if you're lucky. Obviously, it's a legendary and mythic win, but I mean, you can win it. Uh, oh, and Zach, like Zach won the crate G get access out of this today. Like literally, that's like twenty five dollars in the buy craft, <laughs> and Zach won that today from like voting. It's insane. I might include that clip. We'll see. The thing, I, I, okay. So technically, I already recorded a video for this, but basically, I had all the guys for the island in the call for that other video. The problem is their keyboards were really loud. I might end up uploading that video anyways at some point if y'all really want me to upload it comment down below uh but keep in mind there would be quite a bit of keyboards so we'd probably have to like have music on and stuff to like try to make it not quite so keyboardy in the background but you know all right so i actually did set up the zombie pigman earlier it's you know well actually i actually it's not just a zombie pigman we also have blaze in here we have 24 blaze and 10 zombie pigmen. So actually with this is we're gonna be up to 24 zombie pigmen and 24 blaze Now I noticed the blaze actually makes a little bit more money So the way we use this for money is we grab out. Oh boy. Where, where'd I put my sword? Oh, okay. Wait, no, where's my sword? I might put in pv6 probably. Oh, I put in pv6 of course of course all right, so you can let these stack up or you can just kill them like right when they spawn So we're up to 144 zombie pigmen and 144 blaze so then you can go ahead and smack them a couple times and bam it kills the entire stack and we get when we pick up the item we get all of the like blaze rods in our inventory and we can sell that for like eight thousand dollars right there just straight up and we also got a blaze head what you can do with these heads is actually you can use them like if you slash heads you can actually trade these in for tokens now the good thing about tokens is if you go to slash tokens shop if you go to slash token shop one word like so then you can pull up this menu you can get crate keys you can get miscellaneous items from this one so like for example you get the booster g kit the pet g kit the title token god i don't think you would want that but you could uh you get the spawner g kit that's actually really good <laughs> that's like a random spawner every i don't know how many days and then you can get the scroll bundle, you can get super enchantment orb, all of that stuff. But really the like, oh, and chest style axis. But really the best stuff is going to be in the rank menu here and the key menu. Probably the rank menu is really what y'all are going to care about. You can get the, the knight rank, the noble rank, or the baron rank from literally just getting these tokens. So from killing these blazes, from like, from like killing different mobs, you can trade in these heads to get basically free ranks at some point obviously it does take quite a bit of heads at some point but you know you can get ranks for free on here which i really like that aspect of the server but yeah also we do have four golem spawners so far so i think we want to go ahead and actually build a golem spawner this episode because i really really want to get like started making money and i feel like these golems are going to be making us some good money because you go to slash shop then you can open up the miscellaneous items you can see that iron ingots sell for ten dollars per and I mean, we got four golems already going. I think this is going to be pretty good for money, honestly. So I want to actually kind of plan for the future. So our I chest can hold like in a 20 by 20 area, right? So if we have the pigmen over here, and it's like all the way up and down the whole base. So we're going to try and conserve our I chest because I don't want to have to get another one necessarily. I mean, we might end up getting another one, but for now, we're going to stay with one I chest. All right, so this is the block that we're going to place the I chest on. So we can go 19 blocks in each direction from there. Place that chest right here. We got 19 in every direction. We need a sign to place on this bad boy. 
All right, now we just got to put eye chest on the sign and ba bam when we open it it's going to have access to 10 slots and each of these slots can hold like a million blocks each this thing is literally like can hold like an unlimited amount of things and also you can pick up the eye chest if you want to uh which is really nice as well so for example i think if i kill the blazing pigment that i've stocked up here i think everything i kill will go directly into that chest up there so let's see yeah all right so we got gold nuggets we got 670 from that we got 769 rotten flesh 163 gold ingots and 890 blaze rods if we sell all of that we'll get twenty three thousand dollars just straight up we can just click on this and it will sell all of it which is really nice so the idea about this eye chest thing is you can basically this thing works all the way up 256 blocks up and down so for example what we can probably do is build our like cactus farm underneath this and all the cactus will go up into that eye chest which is really nice because that means you can pretty much work with like one to, one eye chest honestly if you really want to so the idea here is we're gonna build the gom farm above this so we can afk both of these at the same time as well so I guess what we're going to want to go ahead and do is build up a little bit. Oh, maybe we can't actually build right on top of it. We're going to build it like a little bit above this. For now, I think this is going to be a big enough GOM because the GOM spawners, like basically they stack into one. So having it larger than this would kind of just be wasting space right now. Like you can see, like they have like 24 zombie or 24 blaze. Like obviously we're only going to have like, what, we have four GOMs right now. And I think some of my other island members have more, but they're not on right now. So, you know, we, we can't exactly get golems that we, we don't have at the moment. So, sign time. Oh, boy. Well, uh, I'll be back when we've done when we're done placing all these sides. Luckily, we didn't make it too big or this might take a very long time. All right. We finished the lava. All right. Now, let's go ahead and place the golem. I don't know if this will be decreasing efficiency or not by having it in this kind of location. Honestly, I don't know because of the... They don't spawn that often, right? But when they spawn, they spawn a lot of golems, for example. So I don't know how that's going to work. Like whether it matters that we just have it like this. Or if we really need to have it higher up in the air, because like on most servers, what you have to do, since you have like one golem on each block, you need to have them like, you need to have them kind of high in the air so that they're out of the chunk that the golems spawn in. So like basically the way, the way spawners work is they won't spawn again if there's still a mob in the, like a certain amount of area from them. So it's usually like you want to have it pretty high up. So like there's a 16 golems. So each one spawned four golems. Honestly, not too bad. And they all should die when like one of them dies, right? I think. Oh, then it made it 24 actually. Okay, cool. What's that gonna give us? 91 iron ingots and 25 poppy. Honestly, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, okay, okay. So this thing, especially when we get more golem spawners, honestly, this might be getting us a decent amount of money. I don't know about y'all, but I think, I think I like what we got done here with the golem spawner, honestly. I really, really do. So, so far I'm noticing that we're not gonna be making as much from the golems as we are from like the zombie and blaze. Well, the zombie pigment and the blaze. But that is considering that I'm using like a looting five sword. And honestly, well, this is like an active like grinding versus the golem is inactive. Like it'll basically work if I'm just standing near it. So I don't really know like which one's technically better. I feel like the golem will be better over time if you have like a bunch of golems like more than four obviously like we have four versus like 48 spawners down there so obviously the 48 are gonna make more money for now but once we can get more golems then we'll be looking pretty good now we do actually have to get our our golems killed up though so we only have two golems currently killed which obviously is not very good so really what we might have to do is just place the golems, like take down, like put them somewhere where there isn't lava and grind that up so that we're not dealing with that. Now we got 20 blaze and 27 pigmen killed so far. So I think it is by amount of stacks you've killed and not by like individual zombies or like individual mobs. Although maybe it will be individual if you go to like mob arena. I, that's actually, is mob arena working? Can we use the mo wait, actually, before we go into mob arena, like, can we die here? Oh, it's coming soon. All right, wait. Uh, are all of them locked? Okay, 
So Mob Arena's actually coming soon, but then soon you'll be able to go into the Mob Arena and basically even like kill Iron Golems and that will give you your Iron Golem rewards towards being able to buy the Golems in the shop. So I don't actually know how much Golems are in the shop. Obviously we have a decent amount of money, but I still don't know like how much they'll be able to, they'll, I still don't know how much they'll cost once I do have them unlocked still. All right guys, so I've gone ahead and built the same 19 by 19 that our eye chest will like actually pick up from all the way up there. So our eye chest actually works all the way down here at like Y1. So what we're gonna be doing is actually building a cactus farm down here. Now, I don't know how much of this cactus farm I'm gonna get done tonight. It's almost midnight already for me and I still gotta edit and upload this video tonight. So I don't know how much we're gonna get done, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. So let's see how much we could get done. I, I want, I know the cactus farms are pretty good for money on here. Like cactus, I think sells, does it sell for $45 per? Yeah, it sells for $45 per piece of cactus. So we definitely wanna be making a lot of money off of this. Uh, but of course, it is going to take us a while to build this up. And we're gonna to have to be spending $12,800 per stack of cactus until of course we're getting that money back right away. Obviously, we do have a lot of money right now, so it's not going to hurt us too bad, but, you know, it, it will add up. And we place the string right here against the cactus. We got the sand every other block, and then obviously the cactus on top of the sand. So the purpose of the string is literally to go so that we can place the cactus, or... The purpose of the string is literally so we can place sand on top, so that when the cactus grows, it breaks. And obviously when it breaks within this area, it's going to go directly into the eye chest. Like, literally, if I break a piece of sand, it goes directly in the eye chest. Like, you cannot pick up anything on the, like, here. See, that goes directly into the eye chest all the way up there. So the idea about this is that we're going to be making a ton of money from the cactus because it sells for $45 per piece. And obviously it does take $200 per piece to make, but that means you only need to get, like, four cat, like... Basically, that means every cactus you place only needs to grow like four or five times and you've made all the money back from that piece of cactus. So honestly, you make the money back from cactus pretty quickly. All right, so we placed the string in between all this cactus. So now all we have to do is run over it and place this sand. And basically what we're going to do is keep stacking this up and... Oh, okay, apparently I missed a spot. Oh boy. So basically all we're going to do is place the sand on top of here. And then all you do is place the next layer of cactus and so on and so forth. And you can basically just stack this up as high as you want to. Obviously, we can't stack it past our like little thing right there, but we could build it above it. If, if it is making us that much money, honestly, we probably will. Uh, the thing, like, obviously, I'm not going to build the whole thing by myself. We do have my other eye limbers. So we have like QS9, Zach, Wiv, and Gerfs on the island. So we got like five of us. So I think we can do pretty decent, uh, but... Obviously, I won't be able to build the whole thing myself, uh, but there, you are allowed to use Schematica on here. I'm just going to go ahead and build this like first layer without Schematica, though, just because it's going to make all of our lives easier. And because and also because like basically what you could do is like you can build the first layer, Schematica, and then just like build the layer above that and above that. And it's so much easier to Schematic after you've built like the first two layers, because it's basically that's going to be like the whole pattern all the way up. But if you just try to do the first layer, then you're going to run into a bunch of problems because it's actually like, obviously the first layer isn't exact. Like, so you see how it's checkerboard. We're basically putting sand in the boxes that don't have sand underneath. So really we can't actually just schematic it until we have the second layer done at least easily, at least easily. Obviously we could do like one little piece of it, but yeah, I'm not really worried about that. So we've come all the way back up to our eye chest up here and I, I went ahead and emptied and sold all the stuff that was in there. We already got five cactus in here. Obviously our farm's not that big yet. So we don't actually get cactus that quickly yet, obviously. Uh, so we definitely do need to make it bigger, but now we're getting like, you know, we got like seven. So definitely not looking too bad. Um, but yeah, so we definitely gonna have to build this a lot higher up. And obviously there's not enough cactus in there, so I'm gonna actually have to go ahead and buy more cactus so that we could keep building this thing. Anyways guys, I think it's gonna be the end of this video. We built a okay amount of the cactus so far. I'm gonna keep building it off camera. Uh, obviously I'm gonna build a lot more than this. We're like, we're trying to build it all the way up there. But the thing is, I actually need to get this video out because it's pretty late and I need to be up tomorrow for the Hypixel Skyblock update, you know, update Tuesdays, so. I'm really ready for that to come out. Honestly, that's going to be insane. Anyways, I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, consider liking it. It helps me out a lot. helps promote the video. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content here on my channel. Anyways, I'll see you guys.